Hi, this is Niharika. Today we'll talk about intuition. All of you have a part that is called intuition, but it is not enhanced. It works only when your mind is absolutely thoughtless. What? Can a mind be thoughtless? Yes, a mind can be thoughtless. Let us know how. So whenever you try to work on yourself, what happens is a part of your brain develops. When your part of the brain develops, that is when the other part of the brain enhances. So your physical body is also a brain actually. Just because the different parts of your brain are connected to different parts of your body. So a part of your brain also processes the different signals that are sent by your physical body. So the intuition is actually the subtle messages that your body collects that is processed by your brain. Now this intuition is actually made up of three things. It is made up of the messages that are being sent to you by the universe. It is made up of the signal processing that is heart that is done by the heart. It is also processed by the feelings that the gut has. So gut, heart and your subconscious mind. All three make your intuition. So whenever the logical mind is active, this part is unactive or less active. But when your intuition awakes, that means the logical brain is actually subsiding. So when you have a thoughtless mind, what happens is your logical mind actually becomes still. And the other part of your brain, the illogical part of your brain actually overpowers your logical mind and takes control of your life. So that is when the intuition activates and gets polished. Now, the next thing we are talking about is where to use your intuition. There are some times or some situations in your life in which you are not getting the decision right away. Sometimes the person is in a very big position or is actually having thoughts that are not helping him to process things well. Well, so the thoughts of anxiety, worry, all the negative thoughts are not leading to a positive decision and he is not able to make the right decision. Because to make the right decision, you have to process every aspect of the things, right? that time the intuition plays a part so the intuition actually communicates by subtle messages or the inner voice speaking or your thoughts so there are thoughts in between thoughts so when you are getting thoughts in between your thoughts there is a space that goes blank and in that blank space a new thought comes and that is coming from your intuition that is well processed already by collecting the subtle signs that are being sent by the universe. So there is an ad additional brain that is given to you if your logical mind is not working. So trust your intuition whenever you feel lost in life. Trust your intuition whenever you need direction in your life. Trust your intuition whenever you are looking for self-belief, self-trust and self-faith. That is what makes you. So the intuition plus your logical mind makes you so powerful that you enter into a different world and you start to do things which are very unique and rare. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day ahead.